Hi there, my name is Diane, but you can just call me D. I apologize in advance if you can hear some drilling sounds. Um, my building is redoing the entrance, so it's making noise as always. In summer, that's when they do all the construction work here. So Today, I wanted to do the book and haul challenge. Uh, I believe Books and Lala created this, and it's basically giving you a list of prompts for you to choose a book that you might want to unhaul. This is my library. I brought a few books that are usually over there, and I have some other books down there but um, I don't plan on unhauling those so I didn't take them out. So I do have a few books behind also and I honestly don't remember what they are so that will be interesting to see. I am not necessarily going to unhaul them like right away but I do plan on and holding some books because I'm moving. Although I have to say that I have a hard time and holding a book that I haven't read. Like I would rather start it and see if I like it and then unhold it rather than just unhold it because I do buy those with my own money. So so for sure there are books that I know I will unhold but I want to try them. So we'll see how this turns out. Let's get into it. A book you rated low. All those books here I want to read, so this is really packed. I can barely move the books. <laughs> so I would go with Brave New World um, by Aldous Huxley. Love Course Stability is not nearly so spectacular as Instability and being contented has none of the glamour of a good fight against misfortune, none of the picturesqueness of a struggle with temptation or a fatal overthrow by passion or doubt. Happiness is never grand. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You get rid of them. Yes, that's just like you. Getting rid of everything unpleasant instead of learning to put up with it. Well, I just didn't enjoy this book. I mean, the two tabs that I marked aren't gonna make up for the fact that I didn't like the story. I understood what I was trying to say and the moral and the point of this, but you know, it was like hard to read and it was um, infuriating at times. And I don't know, I just, um, it's not something I want to reread, it's definitely not something I enjoy reading, so I'll pass on that one. The next one is a book you changed your mind about. Alright, let me get those out of the way because I don't plan on unholing them. But the ones behind I've read or I don't want to uh, read, so... It could be either No Exit by Taylor Adams because I am currently reading it but I have put it on hold for a second because I'm not super in a, in a thriller mood but... I don't see it being like a, um, something that I really love, so it could be that one. I really thought I was going to enjoy it, like I thought it was going to be a 5 stars when I got it, so that's, that's actually why I got it. Yeah, it's not gripping me as I thought it would, so otherwise probably that one. I picked up this book uh, in my laundry room, people are leaving uh, books downstairs, and so Anna Spire... Spire What are you? Excuse me, cat. Thank you. Alright, well, we'll just put those. So this one is Stone Arabia by Dana Spiotta. It's about a sibling relationship. The brother is a musician who decided to 
continue his art um, in private. His sister's daughter decides to make a movie or a documentary about him, I guess. A lot of things are going to come out. It's not cool at first, but then I was just like, mm, probably not gonna read it. <laughs> so this one. The next one is a series you won't be completing and I know, actually I know that one. One that I'm not gonna unhaul right then because I, I do still want to read it but I don't think I will continue with the series is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. I got it like a few years ago and there was quite a lot of hype about it. I think it's a multi-perspective book fantasy YA so I don't think I'll continue with it I haven't heard great things with this series but I've heard that the first one is fine so I have it I will read it eventually and then I will probably most likely unhaul it the other one that for sure I will not continue and I have read is Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews I just didn't really like this book I it's a spy book I haven't watched the movie I just have no inclination and desire to continue with it and to even watch the movie i just the story was just like okay well whatever i'm not into it <laughs> so yeah this one could work also a book you have dnf'd so dnf means did not finish so a book i did not finish probably the da vinci card i have started it many 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 times <laughs> and i've never finished it and I've gone about this amount so far, last time I read it, it's about 100 pages and still haven't continued with it. So I don't know what it is, I don't know why I start it and then I just stop it. I, maybe it's because I've watched the movie and so I already kind of know the story and that's why it's not gripping me. I want to read it though, I want to finish it. Now that it's been a few years since I've watched the movie, maybe I will remember less, but that's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I don't think I've got another option. All right, sorry, I had to take a quick break. Hopefully the angle hasn't changed too much. The next question is, a book you have multiple copies of. I don't really like buy multiple copies of a book, I, the only thing that I do have is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I do have the hardback in English and I do have the paperback in French. I'll definitely keep both because they both uh, mean something to me. A book you will never actually get to. I think probably this one actually. Heads in Beds a, by Jacob Chomsky. A Reckless Memoir of Hotels, Hustles, and So-Called Hospitality. I didn't buy this, but it sounded cool when I picked it up. I think I was interested um, in hearing his stories because I feel like I could relate to some of the things he would say. But just looking at how it's written, I don't think it's gonna be something I really want to pick up anytime soon, so probably this one. Next is a book you bought because of the hype. This one, it's... 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and that I bought it four years ago or something like that. Definitely a book uh, that I bought for the hype because um, like I was hearing so much about it and I think later on like a, maybe a year or two later the TV show came out so it was really a renewed interest in um, the readers um, and so I was like oh my god I'm gonna read it sounds cool but then I don't know, I think it might be a bit too heavy. I don't know if it's something that now would interest me. Nowadays, I don't think I want to explore that type of story again, so... The next one is a book you bought because of the cover. Mm. A lot of books I buy because of the cover, but also because of the story, because like I said, I don't really buy books. This is a free copy of kind of a teaser for The Way of Kings by Brennan Sanderson and Ms. Bone by Brennan Sanderson. And so you get like five chapters or something like that and just the part one of, of The Way of Kings. So I saw it in my 
little free library at my university and I was like oh that sounds cool but then I didn't realize that it was just like teasers I definitely like when I saw it I was like my god this is Brandon Sanderson I definitely got it because of the cover but realizing that it's just a teaser and those are not the books I should start with anyway it's definitely uh, a book that I can uh, get rid of the next one is a book you don't know anything about This one is The Treatment by Mo Hyder. I was a big fan of Mo Hyder uh, when I was a bit younger. I read some of her books and I really enjoy them. They are usually thrillers, suspense, they have a shocking value to them. Nowadays, I don't know if it's something that I will still enjoy because it's borderline horror yeah it's quite horrific and sometimes it feels maybe a little bit gratuitous so i don't know if i actually want to continue reading her books there was a time where i went to read all of her books because uh, the first one that i had picked up was more of a recent release from her and so i started with the first book and I just didn't like the ending as much as I thought and it was difficult to get through just because of the themes and what was going on in the plot so I don't know I don't know if I'm in the mood for something horrific and I actually don't know anything about it I just know it's the second one in her series with uh, Jack Caffery which is like a detective I really enjoy detective books so it could be a reason why I would want to keep this and read it and the last one is a book you did not buy so those are my environmental books and it's not something that you necessarily need to read in one go you can just pick it up if you need to look up something i don't want to get rid of that Okay, I know which one. Julieta by um, Alice Munro. This is short stories. I think it's a, I think it's like three short stories of each generation or something like that. I haven't watched a movie. I got this book from a friend, and she thought I would really uh, enjoy it. Uh, unfortunately, I actually hated it. I really, really disliked it. I don't think the short story format in contemporary stories is for me i think maybe something more like fairy tale-esque would work better but this definitely did not work for me so definitely that so those are all the books i will most likely unhaul three out of ten i want to read the rest i'm probably just gonna unhaul because most of them i got them for free so i don't feel as bad finding them a new home let me know if you have read any of those books and if you would think i should save any of them of the ones that i haven't read it would be interesting to know what was your most recent and whole if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this please subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye